Hi everybody, it's Philly from Create and Curate here. Today we're going to be making a mini skirt just like the one on Sewing Bee. So the new season of the Great British Sewing Bee started on Wednesday. If you haven't already caught up with it yet, don't panic, there will be no spoilers here. However, you will be able to know that they made a skirt, which I have some patterns for. I thought that I would make a wool skirt today with you guys. I cannot decide which pattern to go for. I'm thinking I've got a firm favourite, but we'll see. So we could go for the new look 6217, and that's this skirt, but it's very much straight down, not as A-line as that one was. Um, we've got the Axel by Megan Nelson, um, maybe version two would look cute but this is supposed to be for a stretch fabric and a knit so maybe maybe not um i've got the new look 6843 i reckon c would be good where's c oh no maybe that one what's that that's e that mm, i'll pop this to one side that pattern might work for it or oh look i have two of the same that one's already cut out. Amazing! We're going to use the cut out one regardless of whether it matches or not. Um, this is the Simplicity 1717. I think the one that she's wearing, which is C, will work perfectly. And I've already got it cut out. Mm, winner! Let's go! I suppose I better show you my fabric as well, hadn't I? Ta-da! Uh, they made them out of wool. Uh, on the sewing bee so I also am I'm going to have wool but I don't have any piping and I'm not going to make piping either so we'll have pipeless pockets and we will go for some wool this wool was from oh well it's a wool blend actually it was from uh, pound a meter and it's in one of my fabric calls which I'll stick up there for you to be able to see pieces first thing I need to do is stay stitch around the top two pieces of the front and then place the pockets on as well So we've got two fronts with a pocket on. Um, now we just need to put them together and attach the facing, which I have already ironed some fusible interfacing on. I've only got really stiff stuff, so I don't know how well this is going to hold up, or rather, if it's going to hold up too well. But we're working with what we've got, people, working with what we've got. pieces I'm going to pop the darts in and then I'm going to insert the zip using my magic inserty zippy method oh yeah just going to sew the fronts to the backs and then put some back facing on but I don't really understand how to do it without having done the front facing maybe I should do it before I sew them together I think I'll do it before I sew them together and then hem it and then we're done
um, I had a bit of a funny turn with the um, facing because it said to put the facings on each panel so like to put it on the front and then put it on the back and then sew the sides up but that's not how I normally do it I normally make the whole thing and then uh, put the facing on so that it fits in does that make sense uh, tell me if I'm wrong if I'm doing it wrong I'm happy to be proven right um the pattern itself in the simplicity instructions as usual like complete gobbledygook it just they make no sense to me at all but the actual pieces are really good the 14 was already cut out because it's a pattern that I've bought second hand um so I went ahead and used the 14 but actually it's huge I'm quite pleased this is like a this is an all-you-can-eat breakfast skirt so I'm very 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 happy with that um Guys, I think I'm going to take a bit of a break from have, doing some videos for a little while. I've got absolutely so many projects on the go. I've got so much work and I've got loads and loads and loads of studying and revision for final year exams. So there's going to be no videos for a few weeks, I'm afraid. I don't know how long. I've got another month before my exams are due. So it will be around then. Hopefully I'll be able to get everything sorted and all buttoned up by summer so that we can have some nice summer dress videos because I'm really looking forward to making some of those um, and hopefully I will get everything done and get back to normal very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching everybody as always and I really hope you enjoy the rest of the series of Great British Sewing Bee. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>